What's up guys, j Rod Ham 78 coming at you with my latest YouTube video. Basically, it's predominantly a eBay haul, comic shop haul, half price, half price books haul, and Dallas Fall Fan Days Comic Con haul. Um, I got a lot of comics to show up, um, show off actually, and this, 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 I, I've been so busy at work, I haven't had time to make a video, so I think my last video I made with the haul was probably a little over a month ago. Uh, I think I loaded up my video with the Chris, Chris Claremont signing, so, um, yeah, that was a cool experience, uh, great guy, I mean, he signed my books, five bucks a piece, um, if you want them CGC certified, they were ten bucks each, I believe, but, man, he signed some great books for me, but let's get started with this haul, uh, what you guys see right here is, um, this goes all the way back to Batman Day, actually, this haul, uh, GameStop had their, the Greg Capullo, uh, DC Comics Diner Series figures half off, so I got Batman, and Jim Gordon for 12 bucks, and then uh, then I went hunting for the free Batman comics, so I found the Barnes and Nobles issue, got that for free, um, got the Spencer's issue, got the Hot Topic issue, got this one in my local comic book shop, and I got the GameStop version, uh, got those for free, so yeah, I was, I was stoked to get those, uh, the only one I was missing was, um, was the FYE version? Let me adjust this video. The FYE version, but uh, I, I saw it on eBay. But I'm not gonna pay that much for it. It's, it's just crazy. It's a reprint of a uh, issue one from Batman, I believe. So yeah, I can live without it. I've already got the original uh, Batman one. So on to my next pickups was um I've been doing a lot of shopping at half price books. So um I found these goodies. 50 cents uh new x-men uh 114 uh new x-men 128 first appearance of a uh, phantom x uh new x-men 115 that's a, that's a variant edition i believe or new x-men 134 uh got some x-force number four life fell cover deadpool right there uh another x-force issue five another life fell cover 50 cents also uh x-force number six life fell cover 50 cents X Force Shadow Star 104. Got that for 50 cents. Um, the gems from this one previous trip I made the half price books. Uh, got Silver Surfer number 44. First appearance of the Finley Gauntlet. Got that for two bucks. Got a uh, first appearance of Damage Control for 50 cents. Actually, I found two copies there on my trip. So, bam, got both of those for 50 cents a piece, which is a good deal. They're going to be having a TV show. So, yeah, that was one of my half price, half price books hauls right there. Um, also mentioned I hit up eBay hauls also. Uh, this is one eBay haul. So it was a Deadpool haul actually from this one seller. Now these next issues I'm gonna show you, I got them for $4.99 a piece. So there's a Deadpool 23, 29, 30, 32, 33, 35, 41, 43, 45, 47, 58 from the Weapon X storyline, and 62. Those are a lot of fill-in fill issues I needed. So got them all for five bucks a piece, five bucks shipping. I spent like 60 bucks, I believe, 60, 65, somewhere in that range, but all in airman condition, and it filled up a bunch of my holes from the Deadpool 1997, 98 series. So yeah, that was an eBay haul right there. Um, what else have I got, guys? Uh, let's let's go ahead and show off the stuff that Chris Claremont signed for me, real quick. Uh, let's start off with this one. X Men, one fourteen. There's a Claremont signature right there. I think these are out order. X Men one thirty seven, Death of Phoenix, one thirty six, one thirty four. 130 first appearance of Dazzler 129 a hell of a lot of first appearances on here Kitty Pride, Hellfire Club, White, Emma Frost got that sign um, X Force 127 126 love that cover 125 105 and 104 um so got all those signed for five bucks a piece, which is a damn good deal considering what Stan Lee charges like 70 now these days. So 
yeah, I was stoked. Uh, I made up with Jay Punish 07, I believe. He's on the he's part of the community. He doesn't make any videos, but he's he makes trades throughout the community. And, um, uh, he's actually he lives in my area, not too far away. And uh, he needed some Chris Claremont comics. I told him I had some uh, some duplicates of the early X Men series from the eight, early eighties. So I traded him Uncanny X Men one thirty five, uh, the Dark Phoenix cover, and we made a trade. Let me see where that book is. There it is, right here. We met on site at the sh at the convention on Saturday, and I traded for this. The Think Geek, uh, Secret Wars number one, uh, Neil Adams Deadpool variant cover. So we made a trade, and he actually submitted the copy. I get CGC recommended. He took us. He took a few Chris Claremont books to submit for CGC, and through their recommendation, they suggested what books to submit for sign and seal. For sign and seal, so he turned. They recommended that he turn in the Uncanny X Men. I traded him for with the Dark Phoenix cover. So he submitted that one. So shout out to Jay Punish 07. Uh, thanks for making this trade. I've been looking for this book. I saw it on, I think, whose videos? Mark with the Mouth videos? I saw it on one of his videos. And I, and I, I actually am on Google Hangouts with um, with Jay Punish and Archangel. So shout out to both those guys. But yeah, we made the trade and we've been in communication ever uh, since we started hanging out on Google Hangouts. So uh, cool dude. So yeah, so like I said, man, if you guys are looking for trades, he's willing to trade. He's got, he scored big at the convention. He showed me all these variants he picked up. He scored like six uh, first appearance wind pool covers for for uh, Gwen Pro, uh, Gwen Pool covers on the uh, Deadpool uh, series, he's going for cover price from this one booth. Uh, I was shocked, but yeah, he showed me all the stuff he got. He scored big. He scored major out there at the convention that Saturday. I met up with him, but yeah, shout out to him, man. We made a good trade. It worked out for both of us, actually. Uh, I guess let's go on to the convention stuff I picked up. Uh, let's see here. Let's get this thing started. All right, here we go. Here's one of the convention exclusives. Got the Spider Man, Spider Gwen number one variant cover, Dale Keown cover. Got that for fifteen bucks. Gorgeous cover, digging it. He's been doing a lot of variants for Marvel lately. Um, so yeah, I bought that. I went to this one booth and then um, I picked up. I think I picked up this stack for for twenty bucks. I think this this particular booth. Uh, Gotham City Sirens number four. Gorgeous cover, Harley Quinn, Catwoman, Poison Ivy. Got Flash ninety seven. Uh, 98. I love this cover. Uh, Flash 53. Um, got Birds of Prey number 8. Uh, whoa, what's his name? Um, golly. He's done the Catwoman covers. The, they're gorgeous covers. He's done this one too. Um, uh, got Batman Streets of Gotham number 19. Cool Joker cover. Here's the ones. Here's where, here's the cool covers right here. I, I finally found, the, found this one. I got the other issues. I got Batgirl number 13. Bam! Batgirl number 14. So I walked off with this stack for about 20 bucks, I remember. This is the, this is the one I've been looking for. This one's hard to find. And uh, I think these go for 15 to 20 bucks on eBay at least, I think. Just this cover alone. So I, uh, they had a sticker price of 3 bucks, And so I I, I, know, I think I landed all this stuff for 20 if I remember correctly. So yeah, I got those covers. I was, that, was a, that was a good score for me, I believe. So uh, let's see, what else? Uh, Half Price Books had a, had a stand also. Uh, I got this. This Justice League number 63 Silver Age issue. Got this for uh, two bucks. It's like in fine plus condition, I think. So, yeah, that's a damn good deal for two bucks. Silver Age comic? Come on now. Um, let's see, where else I go? I went to this other booth. Line up this Catwoman Joker cover for a buck. I got That's another copy I have. Another Catwoman Joker cover for a buck. Got the Wonder Woman. I've been looking for this Wonder Woman 96. Got that for a buck. Uh, what else? Cable Deadpool number five. Pay no attention to the sticker price. I paid. I paid lower than that. We, I was negotiating because I bought so much stuff from this one seller, from one a uh, dealer. Uh, X Force number fifty eight. The Deadpool cover. Cool Joker cover. I saw this in Jay and Guy's video. Uh, Batman Legends of the Dark Knight one twenty six. Cool Joker cover playing chess. <laughs> Finally found this one. Infinity Gauntlet number five. Uh, Gambit number one right there. I want the they, there's like five covers there's like ace of spades cover and all that stuff So I'll, I'll get those eventually also and for some reason I got this one again I, I thought I, I thought I didn't have but I've been so busy lately got another secret defenders number 15 with Deadpool on the cover uh, I Got another Catwoman 82 for a buck Harley Quinn uh, Catwoman 64 Joker cover right there. So yeah, I was good. I got those predominantly for a buck I believe uh, this is still going on. This is, I got a lot from this one, so one dealer there. 
Catwoman 66, the Mona Lisa cover. Batman 535. I believe there's like three different variations of this cover or this issue. So I got that one for a buck. Batman 545, got the Joker cover. 546, another Joker cover. That's a cool cover. Um, then I went I went batshit crazy on this Harley Quinn stuff. I mean, I, I, I was there Friday and Saturday. I told him, if, I told him if, all, if, these, if he had most of these Harley Quinns there, I will pick them up Saturday. And sure enough, they were still there. So here we go. This is from the 2000 series. Pay no attention to the sticker price. This is a separate deal. So I got Harley Quinn, 11. Number 12. 13. 14. 16. 18. 19. This is a hard issue to find. Let me remove the stack. Uh, what else? Some more Harley Quinns, guys. Harley Quinn number 20. 21. 22. 24. 26. And 30. I bought a bunch of Harley Quinns from this one, that one dealer. And that's funny. This is from my, I bought, this is the same vendor or dealer that I hit up in uh, May's last, uh, this past May's Dallas Comic Con. They had all the great deals. So he, they, they told me they're moving to Virginia. This was their last convention for the year here in Texas. And they're relocating to Virginia. But they said they will probably, they've already got a deposit for next year's May Com Dallas Comic Con. So they'll probably come back for that one. But yeah, I, I got their website, their Facebook info. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not on Facebook, but. Um, but they told me to look them up that way if I need some more comments from them. But yeah, I bought a bunch of stuff from them once again. And I thought these were a good deal. I think I spent, on this Harley Quinn stack, I think I spent like 40 or 50 bucks for all these Harley Quinns, which I think it's a good deal. I mean, the Suicide Squad's got her really, really hot. So you guys tell me. But yeah, that was a that was a lot of stuff I bought just from that one, one dealer. Um, I also hit up the 50 cent dollar bin stuff, guys, big time. Uh, let's get started with that stuff. Um, finally landed this copy. Supergirl 35. First appearance of uh, the Linda Lane. Something like that. Uh, War Machine 283. Second appearance of War Machine. Flash 51. Marvel Comics Presents number one. Damage Control number one. Black Panther number four. Campbell cover. Another copy of Cable number two. First appearance of Weasel. Detective 609, second appearance of Anarchy. Hawk and Dove, number one. Uh, Thunderbolt, second print, issue 131, Deadpool cover. I got that's my second copy. Thunderbolts, number 131, first print. That's my second copy also. X-Force 116, first appearance of Dupe. We're going to take these out the way. Like I said, guys, I bought a lot of stuff that weekend. Uh... X Force 11, first appearance, first appearance of Domino. X Force 119. Found some Silver Surfer, Thanos, Infinity Gauntlet stuff. Silver Surfer 37. 55. 54. 56. 57. 59. So, yeah. That was, a bunch, that was from the dollar bin, 50 cent bins, guys. So, I, I scored pretty. I thought I found some good deals there. Good com good quality comics. This, I mentioned the Half Price Books had a, had a booth there at the convention. So, I, I picked up Amazing Spider-Man 261. Um, Hobgoblin cover. I got this for two bucks, I believe, near recognition. This is the one I, I found <laughs> from them. Uh, Marvel Team Up, Spider-Man Daredevil, number 141. Slate, supposedly first appearance of the black costume. Got that for two bucks. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 293, Craven, The Last Hunt storyline. That was a great storyline. I got that for two bucks. Uh, New Mutant 16, first appearance of uh, Warpath or a uh, different Warpath. Got that for two bucks. Uh, Marvel Tales 224, McFarlane cover. There's like six of them. So I'm going to start. I need to look for those. I know which ones they are. Just haven't time, had time to go hunt for them. There, he's got some cool X-Men, Spider-Man covers for Marvel Tales. It's basically a reprint issues, but... The fact that McFarlane covers, that's why I want them. So I'm like I said, McFarlane's my favorite artist of all time. So I, you know how it is. Cable number two, another first appearance of Weasel. That's my third copy. Uh, Gambit number eight, uh, got that for two bucks. Uh, I know the price is four, but it was really two bucks. Near recognition, it was already in Mylar. 
That one's a tough one to find. That's one of the pricier ones. That one and the ones with the Rogue appearance. There's two issues of Rogue that she's in that series uh, and the, the, the Bullseye Deadpool storyline. Those are the priciest issues of, the, of that series. If you can find those, grab them cheap. If you, if, if, if you can find them. So, what else, guys? Uh, uh, here's some more miscellaneous stuff. Um, Cable Deadpool from the Civil War storyline. Got that for three. Uh, I actually didn't get this one for five. I got it for two bucks. He gave it to me for two. Uh, Heroes for Hire number 11. Deadpool parents. Got that for two bucks. And this is just, I just picked it up. That was 50 cents probably. Uh, some Wonder Woman, George Perez stuff. Got that for 50 cents probably. Uh, Wonder Woman number eight. I got several of those. Wonder Woman number nine. A cheetah appearance. Wonder Woman 10. Wonder Woman 31. Maze and Spider-Man 276. Let me take these down. What else, guys? Oh, yeah. This is my second copy. So if anybody wants to trade, you Campbell fans. Batman 563, Joker cover, Campbell cover. Got That's my second copy. Got that one. Batman 571, the Bane cover. Digging it. This is my second or third copy of this one. Batman, Detective 740, Batman. Uh, uh, homage to the Batman uh, 497 cover. Snapping Joker's back. Uh, Detective 738, another Bane cover. Uh, what else? Uh, Punisher War Journal number 19, Jim Lee cover, and Cable number 76 uh, from the eight, Apocalypse of 12 Storm. I got that for 50 cents, so why not? It was there. Grab it. 50 cents. No big deal. Uh, what else did I get, guys? I'm working on my next haul already. Uh, let's see. It's about this tall already, and then I got some more stuff that I've already picked up from Half Price Books on the Hunt uh, in a while, too. There's some good stuff in here. So, uh, one of my comic book shops, uh, well, there's a, a local chain of comic book shops that used to open up a store in my area, like a couple minutes away, and they're having they're having a grand opening sale today, actually. And um, what else did I get? They had a grand opening sale today, actually. Uh, let's see here. Picked up this small comic book box for eight ninety nine. Batman on it. I thought it was pretty cool. I um, also grabbed another box. They convinced me to get it. They didn't take, they didn't take very much convincing. Uh, hope you guys can see it. Harley Quinn box. They told me they're supposed to get a Hulk one soon. So a small comic book size with, with graphics like that. Um, first time I've seen them. Maybe I just haven't paid attention. But yeah, I grabbed them. I, I need a couple small comic book boxes. So after this, these hauls I've been doing lately, these hunting, hunting sprees I've been going on lately. So yeah, guys. Uh, what else do I gotta say? Uh, there's a lot of great videos. I'm, I'm about. I got about 15, 20 videos in my waiting list. I need to watch. Like I said, I've been so busy with work. Uh, so I'll hopefully, maybe then I can start uh, knocking those out. But the videos that I have seen right now, man, there's some good stuff being bought by people that are finding good stuff. Uh, but yeah, guys. Uh, I guess that's it for my haul video. I think that's that's about it. I think. Um, like I said, I got my next one working in the works already. Uh, so uh, shout out to the community. Uh, happy Halloween. Be safe. And uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs down. Any commentary, uh, just let me know. Thanks, guys. Keep it real. Later.